It's 2.59 in the morning. You just woke up. For the third time this night, you feel like a zombie, more dead than alive. And yet, you need to get up, because someone's little life depends on it. Hi, my name is Marianne Schuler, and the next four minutes can literally save your sanity and maybe even your child's life. Because not only will I show you a scientifically proven way to have your child enjoy restful sleep, I will also reveal why standard advice like ferberizing or co-sleeping can cause long-lasting damage to your child's nervous system. Damage that makes him more susceptible to anxiety disorders and even panic attacks later in life. The information I'm sharing here with you is entirely based on groundbreaking research done by Harvard Medical School and the Stanford Center for Sleep Science and Medicine, along with my over 20 years of experience as a clinical psychologist. But most importantly, I am a mother just like you. And in this presentation, I want to tell you how the fitful sleep of my three-year-old sweetheart, Lewis, led me to a discovery that has already helped more than 17,643 parents to finally enjoy the restful sleep they have been craving. People like Bryony Adams from London in England. Hi, Marianne. Just wanted to say thank you in person. When I found your presentation, I was so sleep deprived I could barely remember my own name. I think I spent at least seven hours a day rocking little Ava here to sleep. I felt so lost and alone in my sleep deprivation that I often started crying for no reason. I had tried all kinds of sleep techniques and strategies without success. I was worried you'd talk about the same old, but I was wrong. Your information is clear, concise and straight to the point. It really works. The proof is right here in my hands. Thank you from all of us. And Jennifer Williams from New York, who recorded this. Hey there. Look who's sleeping in my arms. This is my son Jacob, who has had trouble staying asleep since birth. Your presentation has been such a blessing to our family and has literally rescued me from the slippery slope of depression. Your step-by-step -step advice is well-researched, nurturing, and amazingly effective. After using your routine, Jacob was sleeping in 30 minutes. We were in complete shock, and my husband even asked me what we should do now that we have our lives back. I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. Irene Johnson from Warren, Michigan, sent me this little clip. Hi, Marianne. So my pediatrician recommended your site. He said that you are spot on with your explanation of how a four-month-old's sleep changes and that I should follow your advice. And he was totally right. My daughter now sleeps through the night and it's only because of your tips. I'm also breastfeeding and I can't thank you enough for encouraging us to work through sleep issues without quitting breastfeeding. I was really right on the verge. I've shared your site with many of my friends with babies and they all love it too. I hope this video can help spread the word. Now, don't worry, watching this presentation won't cost you a cent. Even though I'm giving away so much free yet hard to find information, I've been told I should charge for it. So follow it to the end now while it's still online and still free because the tips it contains will regulate your child's sleeping patterns the holistic way. I'm sure you've already tried other methods. So you know many of them are not just ineffective but downright dangerous. And why would you risk your little one's health when you can soon enjoy a happier, more relaxing and easier to parent child who looks forward to to his bedtime just as much as you do. Fact is, falling asleep is a habit and all kids can learn it, no matter their age. I know it's hard to believe and I would have been the first to doubt it just one year back. You see, when Lewis was born, we were on cloud nine. Not only was he the cutest baby we'd ever seen, he was also an amazing sleeper. And while all our friends kept complaining about wakeful nights, we felt we'd won the lottery twice. But during the fourth month, everything changed. All of a sudden, Lewis woke up every two hours, sometimes every hour, every single night. And the more tired he was, the faster his wheels were spinning, much like an overwound toy until they crash. 
At first, we thought it was just a temporary thing and that we could soon go back to being a happy and well-rested family. But we couldn't have been more wrong. Louis' sleeping problem continued and we started growing desperate. What made it even worse was my feeling of guilt. I loved him so much, and now he was suffering and I couldn't help him. What was I doing wrong? Why were we failing so badly at being good parents? I was a psychologist for crying out loud. Something like this should never happen to me. I was clearly in over my head. It sounds logical looking back, but it took me months to throw in the towel and look for outside help. We went online to find the solution, but it felt like drinking from a fire hose an avalanche of conflicting information that makes you feel even more lost. And yet, we bought the books, the tapes, and even got a $200 sleep consultation that gave us advice so terrible, we decided not even to try it. I finally hit the breaking point when, after five months of sleep deprivation, my husband caught me screaming at Lewis, screaming to keep his mouth shut. I wasn't angry with him, I was angry with myself, and I felt humiliated for being a mean bee who shouted at her own innocent little boy. At that moment, I knew if I didn't take decisive action, if I didn't find a way to restore the sleep of my child, I would either have to check myself into a rehab center or end up divorced. So I reached out to doctors and psychologists I had worked with in the past. The response was overwhelming. Not only did they share their professional experience with me, they also granted me access to their exclusive medical databases. Armed with this knowledge, my real work began. I sifted through hundreds of studies looking for patterns I could work into an easy-to-follow sleep program for my son. And the good news for you is, I managed to find sleep tricks which will instantly calm down your baby. Even better, they work without you buying expensive pacifiers, dangerous swings, or relying on out dated and harmful methods like ferberizing, and I'll share them with you in just a moment. But first, I need to warn you, because in my research, I stumbled onto some shocking information I can't keep from you any longer. The truth is, some ways of sleep training are scientifically proven to cause serious harm to your child, and you need to stop using them right now if you want to protect your little one's health. The most dangerous and yet common method is ferberizing, or letting your child cry himself out. Did you know that the inventor of this method, Richard Ferber, isn't even a psychologist and that he is trained only in physical but not in mental health? It's a little like a miner trying to play dentist with his power drill. And it gets even worse. Harvard researchers discovered in a recent study that babies who were left crying suffer long-lasting damage to their nervous systems. Worse still, these children are more susceptible in later life to anxiety disorders, including panic attacks. Can it really be a coincidence that anxiety Anxiety disorders have increased dramatically in recent years as kids raised with ferberizing hit their teens? I sure don't think so. And neither does Margot Sunderland, Director of Education and Training at the Center for Child Mental Health in London. She is even convinced that if you leave your child crying repeatedly without reassurance, his brain will develop less than optimally. It is thus safe to say that ferberizing is dangerous and you should never use it. The next serious warning concerns the use of baby swings. And I'll keep it short. Never let your child sleep in his swing. This is not just advice from the American Academy of Pediatrics. It's a recommendation by the experts of the Consumer Protection Safety Commission. The sad fact is, every day, more than five children under age five are treated in emergency care for swing-related accidents, and some of them even die. I feel it is my duty to bring this deadly threat to your attention because nothing is more important than the safety of your child. So now that you know what not to do, let me give you some tips which will immediately help your baby sleep. Here's the first tip. Laugh together. No, this, this isn't a joke or some weird therapy. Laughter is your most powerful ally against the main reason why your child isn't sleeping. Tension. You see, the world is a scary place for your baby. He doesn't understand most things, and thus anxiety and tension build up during his day. And when it's time to sleep, it keeps him awake or causes terrifying nightmares. No wonder he wakes up crying. Psychologist Dr. Laura Markham calls it your child's emotional backpack, and nothing will help them to release the tension faster than a healthy laugh. I'll share the best ways to make your child laugh later in this presentation. Roberta Edwards put this one trick to the test, and here's what she wrote me. 
Marianne, you really know what you're talking about with that tension relief. My 14-month-old used to wake up six to seven times before at midnight. But now that he gets his giggles in, he sleeps up to nine hours straight. It's truly a miracle. You're the best. The second tip is about a common mistake I've been guilty of myself. It's to get your little one to go to bed late. You would think he'd be more tired, making things easy for you. But you couldn't be more wrong. Because once your child is up longer than he should be, his body gets flushed by stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. And they keep him going like a double espresso right before bedtime, sabotaging any attempts to put him to sleep. Never let it come so far. The ideal bedtime for your child depends on his age. And I'll tell you all about the details in a bit. But first, let's talk about tip number three. And many of my friends laugh at me when I tell them about it because it is completely counterintuitive. Yet it's absolutely true. Your child falls asleep the fastest, not in a quiet environment, but in a noisy one. I know it sounds incredible, but hear me out because I'm not making this up. It's a scientific fact proven in a little-known study done by the Queen Charlotte's Hospital in London. Now, keep in mind, this isn't just any noise Dr. Daniel Morin and his colleagues are talking about here. It's a special noise, and once you play it to your little one, he will feel safe and protected and fall asleep almost instantly. Maureen Simons describes her baby's reaction this way. My five-month-old Tammy was so clingy and needy, we thought she'd never sleep without us holding and rocking her to sleep. But when we put your miracle sounds on, it was as though someone just flipped a switch. All of a sudden, Tammy was giggling and calming down within minutes, and she even fell asleep soon after. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this was a lot of information I've shared with you so far, and maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, and that's okay. It's hard to remember it all, especially when you're tired and with a crying baby in your arms. I know how it is. And that's why I've tried to find a solution to make it easy for you. So now you can find all the information shared in this presentation and a lot more in my guide, Baby Sleep Miracle. It is the fastest, easiest, scientifically proven method to solve your baby's sleeping problems once and for all. But before I tell you more about it, I need to make one thing clear. If you are looking for some sort of magic pill, my program is not for you. It is true that it works with surprising speed for almost everyone who tries it, but only if you let it. Therefore, there are some simple steps you'll need to follow, or otherwise it will fail you. And the last thing I want to do is disappoint you. So let's take a look at what you'll discover in Baby Sleep Miracle. Why you should never nurse or rock your toddler to sleep and what to do instead. The secret of refilling your child's love tank and keeping him off breakdown lane for good. How to release your kid's build-up anxiety in five minutes flat. The seven steps to put any baby to sleep, even if he's cranky and clingy and everything else failed. The California Institute of Technology's surprising trick to boost your child's secret sleep hormone to doze off levels, 100% drug free and safe at any age, and much, much more. And don't think for a minute that Baby Sleep Miracle would be a one-size-fits-all approach like the Pantley method. Fact is, Elizabeth Pantley completely ignored the personality of your child. Little wonder since she isn't a psychologist or doctor. And while the Pantley method divides babies in just two age groups, Baby Sleep Miracle has nine of them. Because as the American Academy of Pediatrics points out, there are distinct developmental differences between these nine age groups, which influence your child's sleep. Did you know, for example, that in the first 12 months of your child's life, he forms 700 to 1,000 new neural connections every second? This is one of the reasons why an 8-month-old will have an easier time recognizing and sticking with a bedtime routine than a younger child. And it's just one of the countless differences discovered by the scientists from the Harvard University Center on the Developing Child. As you probably noticed by now, Baby Sleep Miracle is different, and that's why it brings you results so much faster than any other method. Just see what Diane Hopkins wrote me. Thank you for the brilliant guide. My son Dennis now sleeps from 7 p.m. to 6 or 6.30 a.m. every night with almost no night wakings. And even if he wakes, it's usually just for a second, and then he falls back asleep all on his own. Most nights, I get my eight hours of sleep, and it's just wonderful. I really feel like I understand his little body and mind and can address his sleeping holistically. I can't thank you enough, Marianne.
Now, you are probably curious about what kind of investment is needed to experience the baby sleep miracle yourself. And this is a really tough question, because how much should it cost? What is it worth to finally sleep through the nights again without having to worry about your little one's screams? What is it worth to cut your risk of depression caused by sleep deprivation by 700%? What is it worth not to be among the 71,000 injured and 1,550 deaths caused by dozy driving each year? You can't really put a price on any of those. And neither can you on your marriage. As the Seattle-based Gottman Institute points out, 67% of couples come close to divorce during the first three years of a new baby's life. No wonder you have a hard time communicating with your loved one if both of you have a hard time not to fall asleep. I'm firmly convinced Baby Sleep Miracle will help you avoid all these disasters. And that's why I wanted to offer it to you at a price everyone can afford, considering you'll even receive five high-definition videos to explain everything clearly to you. I think it would be a steal at $99, but that price is not for you. Because of the upcoming baby day, you'll receive a special discount, so you won't pay the regular price of $99. And not $79, not even $59. If you act now and click the Add to Cart button you see below this video, you can gain access to the entire Baby Sleep Miracle System for just $37. Keep in mind, this represents more than a 50% discount compared to the regular price of $99. $9. And you won't just receive Baby Sleep Miracle. I wanted to make this the easiest decision you ever made. So I added three free bonuses, together worth over $200, entirely free of charge. The first bonus is called Night Terror Stopper. The Cleveland Clinic, consistently ranked among the best children's hospitals by U.S. News & World Report, estimates that every second child suffers from nightmares so frightening he wakes up screaming. What's even worse is this torture can be completely avoided. because nightmares are a sign of unresolved fear your child experienced. And in this free bonus, you'll find simple steps that clear your child's fears and allow him to sleep undisturbed and peacefully. Night Terror Stopper would sell all day at $19, but when you get Baby Sleep Miracle now, you'll receive it completely free. The second bonus is called Double Trouble Sleeping Struggle, and it's entirely dedicated to the sleep of twins and siblings. The twin birth rate in the United States rose 76% from 1980 through 2009, and no one has really addressed the unique challenges which come from having to put two children to bed at the same time. Double Trouble Sleeping Struggle will give you the answer you crave and provide you with simple tips and tricks you can use today. I can easily charge $37 for it, but if you buy Baby Sleep Miracle today, it's my special way of saying thank you for trusting me. The third bonus are the miracle sounds I mentioned in the presentation. You've heard the amazing effects they had on Maureen's daughter, Tammy, and she She's just one example of the countless success stories I've received about these weird, yet amazingly effective sounds. You can't buy them in any shop. And even if you could, they'd probably be priced at $100. But today, right now, you get them without paying a dime. These three bonuses have a combined value of $156. And yet the only way to gain access to them, the only way to benefit from their incredible sleep-inducing power is by clicking the Add to Cart button below this video now. Complete the form on the next page and experience Baby Sleep Miracle for yourself. I know I sound a bit pushy here, and I'm sorry if my enthusiasm for the product got the better of me. So let me back up and talk to you without all that ballyhoo. Just me and you, one parent to another. Baby Sleep Miracle contains the exact plan that has helped to finally resolve the sleep issues of my son, Lewis. And the information has been absolutely priceless for us as a family. More than 17,643 people have already given me their trust. And from the feedback they've given me, I know it worked for them too. But I'm not asking you to blindly trust me and the women you've seen in this presentation. All I'm asking is a fair chance so I can prove to you Baby Sleep Miracle will work for you like the thousands of others. And this is why I've put a 60-day sleep guarantee in place. Here's what this means. If Baby Sleep Miracle does not help put your child to sleep fast, easy, and safely, if it doesn't deliver on every single one of the promises you've heard in this presentation, yes, even if you simply don't like the way I present things or the cute little photos I've included of Lewis and the babies of friends, you will receive all your money back. And I hold true to this promise up to two full months after your purchase. I honestly 
don't know how I can make this offer more fair and still cover the cost of marketing, pay the designer and all the other people who helped me to set up this website. So why not take advantage of this offer now? Just click the Add to Cart button below and I'll be happy to address any question you email me. My name is Marianne Schuler, and I wish you good luck and a good night. Still around? Maybe you have some questions which stop you from going ahead now, and I completely understand. The truth is that I'm receiving dozens of emails every day from other parents who ask me for explanations. So let me address some of the most common concerns here. How fast can I expect results from Baby Sleep Miracle? Some parents have literally seen overnight results just from the tips I've shared.